Oh, here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story. Another crazy story. P. Diddy. I have to admit, I have to admit. It seems like things are getting worse for P. Diddy. From bad to worse. I remember not too long ago, not too long ago. Mr. Love, Mr. Love. It was all about Mr. Love. It's crazy. But here's what's going on with P. Diddy right here. I'll let you know what I think in a second. Unbelievable. As Diddy's lawyers say, the feds uh, raided his jail cell and seized a bunch of privileged material. So an interesting one, uh, to say the least, about... Think about it. Think about that. The audacity of P. Diddy. He wants to have cell phones in his jail cell. Does he think he's at home? Does P. Diddy... Um, don't know the rules of the in the, in the of the jails. No cell phones allowed. Did it? Did it? Someone must have told P. Diddy no cell phones was allowed. Well, for some strange reason, that's why he's behind the bars right now. They say he was breaking the rules. This I want to put up some posts here uh, from former federal prosecutor Nima Romani about this, saying Diddy's lawyers are claiming that it violates his Fourth Amendment right. However, inmates don't have Fourth Amendment expectation of privacy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, once you go behind the bars, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing, but it's the truth. It's like you become a modern day slave. All the rights you thought you had, you don't. The only right you really have behind the bars is just to sit down and that's it. Just sit right there. Sit in your jail cell. Sit right there in prison so that argument is we guards can search his cell without probable cause or a warrant so a big development there in terms of this privileged material different the feds usually have a taint imagine that imagine that p diddy not realizing that the feds are not playing any games with him if they were playing any games with him he would be on his yacht right now he'd be on his private plane right now but instead, no, he's behind the bars right now. For some strange reason, PD, like a lot of these um, rich individuals, they think they're privileged. They think that the rules do not apply to them. But it does, it does. Or dirty team of agents who aren't working on the case to conduct these searches. That way, if they see privileged materials, the clean team won't be disqualified from the case. It goes on. P. Diddy, P. Diddy. Basically, right now, the reality is kicking in for P. Diddy. He's saying, you know what? I'm I'm in jail. I need to get out. What do I have to do to get out? The inmates is telling him all type of things. Some of those inmates could be federal agents pretending to be prisoners. Imagine that. Tell him what to do so he could get in more trouble. To say uh, as well, the prosecutors uh, have reason to believe Diddy is obstructing justice from the prison by contacting witnesses through intermediaries. They made the same argument during his bail hearing. I think they have evidence to. I said P. Diddy is a bad man. They said P. Diddy, you know, get his in cellmate's phone allegedly, and you know he's calling people. You know, I, you know he's calling people. He's harassing people. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Imagine that. P. Diddy's basically living a real life nightmare right now. How did I get here? That's all he's asking himself. Back it up. All right, as we continue on, witness tampering, tampering also falls under the crime fraud exemption to a current attorney client privilege. All right, let's bring into the conversation right now Nima Ram Romani, former federal prosecutor. Nima. Th as you can see, as you can see, it's not looking good for P. Diddy. Nor should it look good for him if he did what they're saying he did. Imagine that. P. Diddy was basically um, destroying people's lives. In a sense, that's what they're saying. Every day a brand new person's coming forward. That's crazy. Don't forget, P. Diddy have high-profile lawyers. You know what? You have to pay them every hour. That's a lot. It's a lot.
Thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Vox to discuss a lot of these takeaways. And you detailed it very well there in those series, that thread of posts on social media. What's your biggest takeaway from this search of that jail cell for Diddy? Well, the defense is going on the offense here and they filed a motion alleging these constitutional... What I'm trying to figure out, what I'm trying to figure out, why would P. Diddy think they're not, they want to raid his cell? He's the most high profile person in the whole place. Plus, I believe a raid was just made in the same facility about two weeks ago. Privileged. Privileged. Not realizing that he's not. Seeing like P. Diddy basically is going to end up in more trouble. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They say crime don't pay, but I see them do it, though. I see them do it. 